welcome to another episode of the American Dream TV. We are Yuma's home team. I'm Patty Burrell and this is my teammate, Shelly Martin. We are here at the historic Yuma Territorial Prison to share with you an exciting piece of Yuma's history. Today we are going to take a tour of the prison with our tour guide. We're here with Mike Erfurt, a tour guide with the Yuma Territorial Prison. Mike, you certainly are a reflection dressed in the rich history Yuma has to offer. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do here? Well, I'm guarding the past and I'm uh, telling the story of the prison. We've got great exhibits here, but uh, we also do walking tours to tell a little bit more of the in-depth information about the prison. Who built the prison? Well, that's, uh, that's something that uh, the prisoners took care of themselves. They didn't really have an exercise yard here, but five days out of the week, the prisoners were involved in quarrying the granite and making adobe blocks and uh, building walls and building cell blocks. How long was the prison here? Well, 33 years that it was open, but I mean, it's, it's been here since uh, 1875 when the construction started. It had a, a good run, but uh, in 1909, the prison closed. The new prison in Florence, Arizona was open and all the prisoners were moved there. So it was locked up. In 1910, there was a big fire in town. Yuma High School burned down. I know this. And because the facilities were up here and, and not being used, this became Yuma High School from 1910 to 1914. Uh, it was used as a movie set from time to time, but otherwise it kind of fell into disrepair and de decay. In uh, 1961, this became a state historic park and things kind of got, got better for it. The uh, uh, yard that we're in right now is a restoration to what the original walls were, 18 feet high, and eight foot wide at the bottom, five foot wide at the top. So it's a, it's a great representation of what it was. So this is the John Wayne cell. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of uh, the famous guests that we had, not as a prisoner, but uh, uh, at one time there were these serial Westerns that were being made. John Wayne was involved in one called The Three Musketeers, and one of those episodes was filmed here at the park. And, uh, well, John got his picture taken in, in this cell, and, and ever since then, it's been known as the John Wayne cell. So Mike, can you elaborate on the importance of preserving the prison and our Wild West history? Well, I think uh, that's one of the things that brings people here to our area is that understanding that uh, when you think Wild West, you think Arizona, when you think Arizona history, the Yuma Territorial Prison just is, it's, it's a great example of that history. and. Kids need to know about our heritage and uh, not just about reading it in a book or reading it on a computer screen, but actually being there and seeing it and touching it. And they can do that here at the prison. Thank you so much to Mike and everyone that was involved for allowing us to be here today. We've had a really good time. Thank you for joining us on another episode of American Dream TV. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Yuma Territorial Prison, and we look forward to you joining us as we continue to explore Yuma and the desert Southwest.